Hello Pisces, welcome to Soul Good. I'm Amber Marie and this is your August 2022 Tarot Scope. If you're curious about the decks that I'm using today, you can find a list of them in the description box below. You can also find links to my social media accounts as well as links to information on personal readings and the Soul Good membership channel on Telegram. So before we jump in Pisces, I do want to share with you that I'm getting like a lot of saliva in my mouth um, and usually for me that energy coming through and manifesting in that way is this energy of hungering or thirsting for something um, what that is for you I don't know maybe it's a um, hungering for truth or to express your truth or for a person or a place or a situation right but there is or knowledge even awareness right there but there is this energy of um, thirsting or hungering for something that you may be aware of but are not willing to or maybe haven't been willing to allow yourself to pursue or um, experience okay so I just wanted to share that but let's jump in and see what the cards have to say for you for this month please father mother life universe spirits guides angels our cosmic team our ancestors our higher selves what would you like Pisces to know for August 2022 please What would you like? Thank you. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. What else does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know for August 2022, please? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. What does Pisces need to know for August 2022 please yep. thank you right and why might Pisces be experienced okay thank you it's fast what do Pisces angels want them to know for this month please yes what do Pisces angels want them to know for this month? August 2022, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me just move these to the side and we'll see what you have going on, Pisces. All right, so you have here at the Rose Garden, innocence, forgiveness, be gentle with yourself. Interesting. Uh, maybe that's what you're thirsting for. Forgiveness. It, oh, that's interesting. I'm so I just heard the word reprieve. I feel like Pisces, you may have experienced something in your recent past and by recent past, I, I mean this lifetime. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like you could have experienced something where actually I'm getting a lot of things. Um, but I feel like one of the things coming through is this energy of being super, super hard on yourself for maybe decisions that you made, um, and seeking or, or would like to receive forgiveness or even to be able to forgive yourself because it feels to me like you haven't allowed that or, there's been some part of you that has been resistant to that. Maybe you're coming into this energy now. Maybe you are allowing yourself to forgive yourself. But it feels to me like there's this energy here of like, it's, I mean, I really, it's like, how could I ever forgive myself? It's not even about, I don't feel you forgiving someone else, but more you allowing yourself to forgive yourself and to understand or come to this awareness of you don't know what you don't know and when you I feel like whatever this is about you may have made certain decisions that were made from a space of you know trauma and fear and wounding and essentially it was like that's all you knew what to do it's it's all you could do in that moment and so it's like you're you're innocent like forgive yourself you didn't know what you didn't know now you know right be gentle with yourself allow yourself to heal from this embrace your you know, your own innocence essentially 
you know, I, I, it feels to me like you've been holding onto something and, and if this involves another person, I don't even know if they are holding onto this, but it feels like you are right. It feels like you beat yourself up about this, whatever this is. And I feel like you may even dream about it, which is interesting. But if, if there feels, there's something here that feels like, give yourself a break. You're a human being. You can't be blamed for doing what humans do. <laughs> I'm just saying. And that's not, I'm like, I'm not chuckling because your feelings aren't valid or because they're making fun of you or being, you know, condescending or anything like that. It is because like, I've been there. <laughs> Okay, I've been there. So it, it's just that energy coming up within me and seeing it from a higher perspective and realizing how silly I was to beat myself up about things when I didn't need to. There, there was no reason for me to do so. So there's a, there's this energy here about really seeing yourself because I feel like you, I feel like, I feel like you don't see yourself the way other people see you, which I mean. In my experience with Pisces, that tends to be the case, actually. It's like you don't see how beautiful you truly are. You don't see how unique, how special, how magical you actually are. And I feel like there's this need for you to open up yourself to that, release any fear around that. I'm getting this burpy fear energy. So, like, release fear around others perceiving you. In, you know a negative or lower vibrational way I feel like you I feel like they see you in a much clearer way than I feel you see yourself right and I mean that in the sense of they see your soul versus seeing you as a human being and you know the choices you've made from maybe spaces of wounding or trauma or programming or whatever it is self-limiting beliefs, right? However that shows up for you. But it feels to me like this energy of like, people see you a lot differently than, than I feel you see yourself. And there's this energy to allow yourself to be open to experiencing yourself the way that others do. You have here the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is an energy of working without reward. It feels to me... So let me just say, like, this is also an energy of obsessiveness and I'm picking that up, but I'm picking up, first of all, you may bury yourself in your work or maybe you have. Okay. I also see this as of like obsessiveness and in, in the sense of like running over this thing in your, like over and over and over and over again, like not letting yourself let it go. Um, I also see this as almost like. If I punish myself enough, then I'll feel better about this. But that's not the case. I feel like you just find yourself worrying about it even more. I don't know. I don't know why that energy is coming through. You have here the star as well. I feel like there's, again, there's this healing that needs to take place around whatever this is. I feel like for some of you, you've prayed about this situation right? You've, um, maybe you've held out hope that you could eventually forgive yourself or that another person could forgive you. Maybe you've been hopeful about that. If, you know, like maybe you could find a way to allow yourself to move forward and if you did that if you it's I don't know how to explain it really it almost feels like if I separate myself enough from this then then maybe I can find a way to forgive myself like there's I don't know that might have been something that you were hoping for right but more than anything else for majority of you I feel like this is likely more in an energy of like really needing to heal this thing versus kind of like obsessing about it the way that you have and not allowing that forgiveness to come in. I also feel like, so the Knight of Pentacles 
in the upright is like taking responsibility. And I feel like you, I don't think you've, you maybe haven't done that. And I feel like that may be, and, and or maybe you have, but maybe, I don't know how to word it. Like maybe you have been like, okay, yeah, like I, I did do that thing, but almost like not letting it go though. Like not letting the healing happen after coming to that realization or taking that responsibility. Right. It's like, I, I feel like there's healing that needs to be done around this. And again, I feel like you may have prayed about this. You may have even asked, you know, God for forgiveness or something like that, or meditated about it or, um, journaled about it or something like that. But it, it, it feels like, um, like asking, like I actually see it like seeking forgiveness or praying about it or something. King of Wands. I feel like you've, I feel like this is because you've seen the bigger picture or are starting to, right? This healing is coming in or, or maybe this is what you need to do, right? Like in order to heal, allow yourself to see the bigger picture and overcome the obstacle that is yourself. I feel like facing that challenge, right? I feel like that's going to bring in healing for you. I also feel like this is about courage. So the King of Wands is a Leo energy and I feel like there's the Leo energy is like that very courageous kind of inner strength and conviction and motivation, um, loyalty, that sort of thing. And I feel like there's this energy here of like overcoming that challenge with a kind of like a Leo mentality, right? Seeing the bigger picture, um, really stepping into this, this very, um, courageous, brave kind of energy, like really facing things. And I feel like that's, something that you're being asked to do this month, right? Is, is to allow yourself to overcome these things or face these challenges or to, or at the very least to see the bigger picture. Temperance. This is an energy of balance. Also patience, right? I feel like there's a need to be patient with yourself. Again, kind of that gentle type of energy right? Um, bringing balance into situations can be a bit of a challenge. So I do feel like there's this need to be patient as you heal and grow through these things, as you find that courage, find that inner strength, right? To forgive yourself, to move forward from this. As you, like, again, as you heal, I feel like there's this need to, again, be very patient with yourself. Very, very patient with yourself. And I do feel like there's some part of you that is trying to find the meaning behind whatever it is that you've experienced that you feel like you need to forgive yourself before. Like, why did I do that? Or um, why did that have to happen? Or something like that. This is also Sagittarius energy. So you may have Sagittarius in your chart or be connected to a Sagittarius, perhaps. You also have the Eight of Cups which is beautiful because this is an energy of walk of you walking away from something. And I do feel like this is you walking away from whatever that is that you haven't allowed yourself to be forgiven for, right? The cups energy is emotions, feelings, relationships, uh, love, your intuition, spirituality, like it could have anything to do with any of those things, right? Experiencing yourself very deeply, uh, that's that kind of energy. And with this eight of cups, this is walking away from, from things that don't serve you. Like this cup is on fire. Um, this cup is sinking, right? It's like, you have no reason to continue to carry this because it's not serving you. It's not benefiting you in any way, shape or form. So you're being asked to leave that behind to disillusion yourself from the idea that you must carry this with you. It's not serving you. Let it go. Leave it behind and move into a new way of being. But be patient with yourself as you overcome and address these challenges. And don't forget to have faith, not only in the universe and God and that sort of thing, but also faith in yourself. Right? Don't forget to have that faith in yourself. And I feel, Pisces, you are very intuitive right? And so I feel like you likely, if there's some, if this message is for you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But why might this be happening? Let's see. Karmic board clearing. Yes. Energetic clearing. Rewrite your story. Live your truth. What was I saying? You cannot make this stuff up. There's something here that you're dealing with from either this, like from this lifetime, I feel potentially, 
I mean, maybe it is from other lifetimes, but I'm definitely picking up an, like a more current energy, if you will. And it feels to me like, again, there's something here where you need to allow yourself to be forgiven, right? Live in your truth and the truth is you're innocent. The truth is you need to be gentle with yourself. The truth is you didn't know what you didn't know. The truth is why have you not forgiven yourself? The truth is that the other person may be not even hanging on to this if it has to do with someone else. Now, if this is you about, if this is about you betraying yourself, live your truth. Clear the, clear that karmic board by stepping into your truth and living your truth. Honor yourself, right? You also have here memories of Atlantis, spiritual acceleration, progress and technology. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. I feel like this is coming up. Um, to be for for this month because I feel like there's this there's almost this need here for like spirit saying like progress needs to be made in the situation because you're just essentially working without reward here you're not making that growth that maybe you could be um should you allow this to take place and so I feel like this is coming up to kind of open that doorway for you to be able to do that to make that progress to really accelerate yourself spiritually so you can continue to grow and get into alignment with your mission with your purpose with your meaning like your reason for being here right that's what i feel like it's it's like it's time right it's time for you to step into your truth it's time for you to leave this behind and move on yeah, you also have here crown chakra upgrade, divine connection, holy experiences, miraculous energy. So very interesting because with the temperance card, as you can see here, there are these angel wings behind him. And I often see this as that spiritual connection, right? That angels behind you, assisting you, guiding you, right? And then you have the star, which is also for me, that energy of divine connection. As you can see, she has a string there that she's holding attached to that star. So wish upon a star, that connection, the, the universe hearing you essentially wishes being granted, right? So I feel like if you are in an energy of like, this is what I want to do now, right? I feel like you are supported through that. And I do feel that you may have started praying. You may have experienced angels. Maybe you've seen a lot of white feathers or angel numbers repeating or had experiences where you've dreamt about these things, right? Um, connection, maybe this situation, you've had dreams about it. Again, I said, I said that earlier, um, maybe you've had dreams about angels helping you or speaking to you or getting messages through music or something like that. Like, I just feel like you, again, are very intuitive and I feel like you are experiencing this communication taking place, this connection. I also feel like for some of you, this may have something to do with a connection that you have with someone else, like divine connection, right? Um, because again, there's this energy of like, how could this person ever forgive me? So that leads me to believe that it's some sort of soul connection, right? Um, and I do feel like there's this energy of like miracles because I feel like you're far more supported than what you realize. And I feel like the universe is working with you. And I do feel like there could be, I don't know, maybe you commit, if you will, to healing whatever this is. And then you experience all these things happening. You're like, holy crap. <laughs> right? Like I kind of wondered if it would be like this or I had an idea or felt like maybe it might turn out this way. Or on the flip side, maybe you're like incredibly shocked because things are so much easier than what you thought they would be. And I feel like part of that is because you're so freaking supported. It's glorious. You also have your Lumerian seed codes, embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, and living with grace. So interesting, like they're embracing sensitivity. I feel like this is you opening up to yourself, right? And what you experience, like, and living with grace, like understanding, like things happen, right? Like give yourself the grace to forgive yourself. Like give yourself the grace of not knowing what you don't fucking know or not knowing what you didn't know, right? And I feel like, allow you there's this energy of embracing sensitivity in the sense of like allow yourself to feel the things that you need to feel so that you can re release them i'm also getting this energy that uniqueness here is again that energy of like people i feel don't see you the way you see yourself i feel like they see you as someone who like again very unique beautiful um mystifying i feel like they 
see you in a completely different light than what you see yourself, right? And I feel like there's this need for you to allow yourself to see that. And perhaps through opening up to your emotions and really maybe processing some of the things that you've experienced, you may start to actually see that, right? As you let go of some limit, limiting beliefs or, um, you know, things that you bought and sold as your truth, like you're not good enough. You'll, you, you'll never this, you'll never that, like who, why would anybody want to, who am I to, you know, that sort of thing. Like I'm not good enough. Let that stuff go. Let that stuff go. Because I feel like you, you are to the, those that are important, right. To those that matter. I feel like you are an incredibly unique being and I feel like you are so appreciated and so valued and people truly do I feel see you um especially those that you let or allow to see you which maybe not be may not be very many people like there aren't any energies here where there's crowds right there's not a three or four right there's there's not a this is all very individual energy right? Most of these cards have one being in them. Setting aside the Knight of Pentacles with the horse here and the King of Wands with the lion, right? So I don't know. It feels like there's this energy for you, again, to see yourself, allow yourself to see yourself the way others do and process some of the things you've experienced and maybe see how they've played out in your life like really I don't know why it's really I don't know you guys it's really interesting yes look at this this is beautiful you have synchronicity here coming from your angels thank you angels I trust your well-timed guidance and signs again like I said I feel like you may be seeing these things and this for me coming out like this is basically divine creator God the universe saying I said what I said you've been seeing this and if you haven't already you will be well aware of it as well right like I feel like it will be unmistakable and and again like there's also this energy of that balance right that harmony within uh with that yin yang symbol and again that divine counterparts type of energy right so again take that as it resonates with you I have healthy choices thank you angel for angels excuse me for guiding me to make healthy decisions yeah and I feel like these are even though this may be about, you know, like getting to the gym or eating better or something like that, I feel like this is also like making healthy choices about what you're doing with yourself, how you look at yourself, how you treat yourself, um, the people that you hang around, right? Um, the activities that you engage in. Like, I really feel like this is about you making healthy decisions for yourself in the sense of, um, essentially like, I don't know, it's weird, like looking after yourself, but not in the ways that you would often think, right? Like the, though it could be like the gym and eating better and stuff like that. Um, I do feel like it's where you're dumping your energy, how you're looking at yourself, um, releasing things that don't serve you, right? Choosing to not engage in things that aren't serving to you, right? It's like, like, um, limiting thought patterns, right? Or, or habits or behaviors that don't serve you, right? And I feel like your angels want, are, are asking you to look after yourself, to be mindful, right? You also have your earth angel. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. So there is this energy here of like that sensitivity, right? Opening up to that sensitivity, that love, um, and, and allowing yourself to experience the love and give love freely, right? I feel like there, I, for some reason, I feel like there are people in your life where you're like, wow, I want to be like them right? Like, wow, I, I want to be able to express myself in that way. Or I want to be able to um, find peace or you know what I'm saying? Like, it just it feels like there are people that you see, or have seen or experienced in your life where you're like, I want to know how to be like that. How to feel like that. How to be able to move through things that way to be sensitive and open and unconditionally loving and giving, right? Without worrying or being afraid. So I feel like this is, I mean, there is, oh, 
you do have um, two major arcana cards out here and I do feel like there's this uh, growth that's in incredible um, and po and quite how do I word this it's weird like I feel like I'm kind of like uh, 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 like I'm struggling to get the words out because I feel like there's a lot of processing that is going on for you this month Pisces right a lot of um, coming to understanding things and sorting things out and getting a little bit more clear on on your truth even if that's just clear with yourself and again forgiving yourself and I do feel like that's difficult I feel like it's 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 not easy to do it's hard right you have your the bottom of the deck the wild rose do it your way embrace your uniqueness and untamed again this energy of you are so beautiful to the people that matter right you're so incredibly unique and they find you so very special right so understand like this is about you doing things your way what works for you right and what's going to help you grow and what's going to help you expand and experience life in this very beautiful unique way that matches you right i feel like there is no right or wrong way to do things right i feel like again the people that matter appreciate you regardless so i feel like there's this energy with the ace of swords in reverse here at the bottom of the deck is like what you don't see is like stop spinning your head around this right like there's it's like it feels to me like tr not standing in your truth is bringing even more confusion it's causing you to spiral even more like the more you try to resist the truth the the more difficult it is to see clearly the more difficult it is to um process and integrate things and i feel like there's this energy of not forgiving yourself or not allowing yourself to be forgiven or letting things go or or being gentle with yourself for not knowing what you didn't know i feel like it just causes you to spiral more and more so there's this energy of getting clear on what the what is the truth right what is the truth get very clear on what it is and what that is for you to experience a breakthrough in this energy you have angelic frequency angels are here you are safe and potent connection again like i was saying i feel like you have a lot of help right a lot of divine support okay and i feel like all you have to do is ask Right. I feel like all you have to do is ask like you are safe. And I feel like this is something that you may have needed confirmation on for some reason. I feel like some of you have asked this question or or like thought about this. You know what I mean? Like, is this person safe? Is this person going to hurt me? Is this situation going to hurt me? Um, you know, like what if this happens? What if that happens? Da, 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 da. And it's like this this energy of you're safe. Angels are helping you. Right. Where your intuition is calling you, what you feel guided to do is your angels helping you as well. Right. I feel like you are getting messages. So release fear around not being able to trust that or being fake or something along those lines. Like I'm getting this fear coming up, coming up around not for whatever reason, feeling like, oh, that's not real. Like, or some, I don't know why. Maybe that's something you've said, maybe about angels, maybe about anything I've spoken about here or spirituality in general or some sort of like psychic things you're getting or what your intuition is saying like maybe you're like that's not real that's just my ego or that's just what I you know that's just what happens or I don't know something like that um but it is this energy of like your angels are are here they're with you and I feel like those intuitive things that you're getting like they're not for no reason right it could be your angels like nudging you like hey <laughs> Hey guy, we're, we're trying to tell you this again. Hello, right? Um, the bottom of the deck here is honor your beauty. Yes, yes. I feel like this is what you aren't seeing. It's at the bottom of the deck, right? What you aren't seeing. Thank you, Joe Fiel, for helping me discover my inner and outy, outer beauty. Yeah, this is what I was picking up on earlier, right? This energy of like needing to really see yourself for how incredibly beautiful and unique and special and amazing and, and magnificent that you truly are. Right? But it, again, you have to allow yourself to do that. Like take a leap of faith and allow, which is interesting because look here, you have a leap of faith at the bottom. Take a leap of faith, right? And allow yourself to see yourself for what you truly are without all the trauma and the wounding and all the things that people have told you that you've bought and sold as your own. The limiting beliefs, the who am I to, the why me's, the you're no good, the I'm not enough, the all the things. 
right? See yourself through all of that. See where you've been unconditionally loving, where you've been kind and compassionate and beautiful, right? And where you've tried to sink into your more sensitive, creative side. Look at those things, right? There's this need to really see yourself for who you truly are. And what you truly are is a beautiful, beautiful soul. Okay? So, Pisces, that is what I have for you for the month of August. I hope that something here has resonated with you or been valuable for you in some way, shape, or form. If it has, please do the YouTube things by liking, sharing, and or subscribing. It really does help the channel to grow and lets YouTube know that there may be something here that's important or valuable for someone else. So thank you so much for doing that. I really, truly do appreciate you. I appreciate your time and your energy so very much. I'm sending you big, big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. Please know that whatever you're facing here, whatever this thing is, you deserve happiness, you deserve forgiveness, and you deserve a beautiful, beautiful experience in this lifetime. Please do know that and know that whatever it is that comes your way, you've got this. You absolutely have got this and God's got you. Take care of your beautiful soul and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.